Good afternoon, my name is Shelby Melto, and I'm a meteorologist with the National Weather Service here in Springfield, Missouri, giving an updated briefing on the upcoming winter weather and the dangerous cold that we're expecting to occur starting tomorrow. So taking a look at the key messages and what we're expecting to see, you know, one of the main concerns continues to be those life-threatening wind chills as cold as negative 35 degrees as we head into tomorrow night and Friday morning. So with those bitterly cold temperatures and wind chills, you know, there's going to be that increased risk for frostbite and hypothermia. So to account for these dangerous temperatures, we have upgraded the wind chill watch now to a wind chill warning, and that's going to be for the entire area. We're also expected to see accumulating snowfall tomorrow across the area. So that combined with wind gusts up to 40 to 45 miles per hour, you know, blowing snow and reduced visibilities are going to lead to near blizzard conditions, especially in those areas that receive sufficient snowfall amounts. And then also with the rapidly falling temperatures tomorrow, there is going to be a potential for a flash freeze on the roadways, which would also cause hazardous road conditions. So to account for these hazards and impacts that we are expecting to see, we've upgraded areas generally along and north of Highway 60 to a winter storm warning, and we've also introduced a winter weather advisory for areas south of Highway 60. One thing we really want to stress is to prepare now. You know, today is the last day to make sure you're prepared for this event with that winter weather and the dangerous cold that we're expected to see. Because, you know, starting tomorrow morning, conditions are going to rapidly deteriorate. So if you haven't done so already, make sure you're preparing now in order to keep yourselves and your loved ones safe. So the next few slides will go into more detail on what we can potentially expect. Taking a look at the forecasted snowfall amounts, right now we're expecting anywhere from one to three inches of snow along and north of Highway 60 with decreasing amounts south of that highway. And then there could also be a few pockets that see up to four inches and maybe even up to five inches, mainly north of Highway 60, but you know, that would be the high end amount. So those are less probable to see those higher four to five inches, but you know, there is that localized possibility. As far as timing of the snowfall is concerned, portions of far southeast Kansas could start seeing a wintry mix anywhere between midnight and 6 a.m., with the rest of the area seeing that wintry mix transitioning to snow by the morning rush hour and then lasting through the afternoon and early evening. You know, one thing we really want to convey is that there will be a potential for a wintry mix, including the possibility of patchy freezing drizzle as that initial band pushes through in the early morning hours and then during morning rush hour. So that red box outlines the time frame that areas could see that mix before transitioning over to snow. So as we gain more confidence in specific time frames and precipitation types, we'll be further updating this timeline. So make sure you have a way to get our updated forecast information. Now taking a look at the maximum wind gusts tomorrow and Friday, you can see that the majority of the area will see anywhere from 30 to 45 miles per hour and even possibly up to 50 mile per hour gusts. So there is that possibility of some sporadic power outages along with blowing snow, which is going to lead to increased hazardous road conditions with those strong winds. And those strong wind gusts are also going to lead to dangerous and historic wind chills for both Friday and Saturday mornings. These images show the updated forecast minimum wind chills, and you can see that most of the area is going to see anywhere from negative 20 to negative 35 degree wind chill values. Taking a look at the historical context, the last time the Springfield Airport saw wind chills that low was back in 1989. And even then, it was only one of seven days since 1948 that experienced these dangerous of wind chill values. So you can see how much of a historically dangerous cold event this is expected to be. This graphic shows our updated temperature timeline, so you'll notice that throughout the morning, temperatures are going to rapidly fall, with the majority of the area reaching single digits by early afternoon. And then those temperatures are going to keep falling throughout the afternoon and evening, getting into the negative values by tomorrow night. And then with those strong wind gusts expected, wind chills will be in the negative 20 to negative 35 degree range, really from tomorrow afternoon through Friday morning. Once again, showing the wind chill chart that we use here at the National Weather Service, you can really see that once we get into those negative 25 to negative 35 degree wind chill values, it can take as little as 10 minutes before frostbite starts to set in. So, you know, we really cannot emphasize enough how important it is to make sure you're staying warm and taking the necessary precautions to keep yourselves and your loved ones safe. You know, if possible, limit your time outside. 
And if you have to go outdoors, making sure you're wearing the appropriate clothing for this extreme weather, dressing in layers and covering all exposed skin will be extremely important to avoid hypothermia and frostbite. And also make sure you don't forget about your pets. You know, keep them warm and dry with plenty of food and water, and if possible, bring them inside in order to keep them safe. And once again, showing this great safety graphic here, if you're on the roads tomorrow, keep in mind that those sneaky hazards that could have hazardous impacts. When you have a wet road and the temperatures rapidly drop below freezing, there is a potential for a flash freeze, and that's going to lead to slippery and dangerous road conditions. So make sure you're slowing down and leaving plenty of distance between you and other vehicles in order to stay safe. And then lastly, again, we really cannot stress enough to make sure you're preparing now because tomorrow it's going to be too late. When you get into those dangerous temperatures combined with the potential for snow and blowing snow, any accident or issue that would cause you to become stranded is then going to become very dangerous. So having an emergency kit inside your car stocked with things to keep you warm, as well as different tools to get you out of that situation is going to be extremely important. So that concludes this briefing, but we again wanted to leave you with our social media handles on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube, as well as our website URL to get updated on the latest forecast information and safety tips. We'll be conducting Facebook Lives throughout the day tomorrow, so make sure to tune into those so you can get the latest updates. And then our contact information is also included where you can directly contact our office if you have any questions. So thank you for watching and make sure you remain weather aware and are preparing now as we get ready to head into this event.